Hi guys, Richard Richard here, back with another another video. Um, yeah, this week's pickups, <laughs> quite a few. Um, every sort of like three or four months, I go pretty crazy and sort of like concentrate on a little collection and just buy as many little products as possible. <laughs> so yeah, so I've gone a bit um, with the um, Pokemon Red, Yellow, Blue like two DSs coming out. i um, obviously had like three of them in my cabinet, so I decided to buy a bit more. So I've been slowly getting the um, box consoles of the, basically every little Pokemon edition. So I've got Pokemon White, and Pokemon Black. They're in really good condition apart from this one which was literally just wrapped in like oh, like a plastic bag. And was delivered by my, my Hermes. And yeah, so there was lots of little dents which I'm pretty pissed off about because it actually wasn't. This one is like new, um, the game's still sealed, and the console's, yeah, it looks like it's never been used, so it was actually on the Facebook, um, not on the Facebook, on the eBay saying never been used, and had like buy it now, so I'd like buy it now. So they're, they're good additions to the collection. Um, I remember playing Black for a bit, but never really got that far, so I'm looking just to, uh, yeah, Take, I'll take black out and then I've got a, got like a Figgy Boy DS console over there so I'll use that one instead of using the one that's in the box because that's in really good condition and play out because I haven't played it for years absolutely years um, I've got my little Mario DS holder as well um, I won this on eBay and this was how much did I win it for? Oh, it was probably about 15 quid and then £3 postage but like I said at the, at the last convention um, yeah, some guy was selling this for three quid, and I like missed out on it. I'm like, oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> Even though I purchased it before, but yeah, this is being greedy, really. But yeah, happy to happy to pick up this dude, Mario. Um, went charity shop hunting again. Oh, rubbish as always, but there was a board game, and it's Willow the board game. Um, this is about 150 pieces or so, but yeah, they're all there. It's all complete, and for 2.99, you can't go wrong. So this is this old little board game. Um, I think I already had it and actually sold it, so I, was, so I got another copy and I'll probably just sell it on again. Um, like I probably mentioned in the past, there's a board gaming event called UK Games Expo and they have a bring and buy. So you put whatever price on, I'll probably put a tenner on this one, put it in there, it will go in like the certain um, categories and then the, the other five or six thousand people at the event, if they go in the bring and buy, they'll be able to buy it. So you'll be able to buy old board games and stuff like that. So I always do do below, normally it's about 15 quid maybe on eBay, so if I do £10 and I put it in there on Friday, so you've got Friday, Saturday and Sunday, it'll probably sell. So like, if you do board games, you know, about 20% less than other eBay or whatever, they normally they normally sell pretty quickly. But I only picked them up for a couple of quid. So happy. Um, good key, my mate, if you... <laughs> he hasn't been in a video for a while, so but he might, we've been planning to do a video, but work has been absolutely crazy. Um, he picked up a bundle from his friend, I think it was £50, he got like a Super Nintendo, a couple of games, um, there was loads of like, Xbox stuff and some Game Boys in it, and yeah, he got like Xbox, he, he messaged me saying he wanted to get rid of the Xbox lot for like 20 quid, and I was like, uh, I'm not really into Xbox, but when I went, went round, I somehow stitched myself up and only paid like £20 for this, but then left... But there was like another like what five or six games and some joysticks as well that I left. So when he first initially offered me like a week before, I could have got it for twenty quid, but I paid twenty pound and seemed to end up with like like ten less items, <laughs> which I completely forgot. But I got two extra items in it. So so I remember taking a photo of what he had, um, and then driving home, and then thought oh, it's better to take the photo of what I have and then go there. And there's quite a few Xbox games, and these are the ones I didn't actually have in my collection. I haven't been really collecting for Xbox at all. I've probably got, um, what, 60 games over there? And this is sort of like, yeah, basically nearly doubled it, but yeah, well happy. So they're in really good condition as well. Every disc is in really good condition, so there's quite a few here. So swap, Global Strike. I was always a mainly a PS2 person, so I never I never got into the Xbox at all. Well, some friends have the um, got the Xbox over the PS, their PS2, but nah. I always felt it was just a just a rubbish version of the PlayStation 2. But there are some good, I guess, good PC ports to the original Xbox, which I didn't I didn't know. So there's a few that I'm really happy about. Um, Puffin Gotham. But no, Project Gotham. <laughs> Project Gotham. 
which I'm sure that was from that was on the Dreamcast. Um, the Punisher. Procast Pro Sport Fishing. Pirates. And this definitely was a PC game. I'm sure I remember this being a PC game. Painkillers. Like this game looks fucking awesome. Absolutely fucking awesome, actually. Um, Midtown Madness. Um, I've already got this on my shelf, but I've got two boxed like Xboxes over the years that had like Midtown Madness over two or three. It might have been three actually like bundled in, but I was actually missing a copy. I think it was a Halo one as well. Men of Valor. Metal Arms. FIFA 2005. Look at Vieira. Yeah, when Arsenal were good. I don't know who the other guy was. But that's, that's Shevchenko. Who's the other guy? I don't know. Um, F1 2002. Secret Weapons over Normandy. Shattered, Shattered Union, okay. Never heard of that game before. Simpsons Hit and Run, which is basically Grand Theft Auto, but Simpsons Hit and Run. Shell Shock, Nom! 96, no, not 96, 67. <laughs> it's fucking Nom, man. SSX Free Trick Star, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, snowboarding game. Soldier of Fortune, Double Helix. <laughs> How many fucking is the game this album? Okay, Rainbow Six Black Arrow. For Rainbow Six Free Black Arrow. Battlestar Galactica. I'm looking forward to playing this one, Blood Wake. So, but the basically just looks like speedboats and twisted metal on speedboats. Big Mother Truckers. <laughs> Big Mother Truckers 2. Truck Me Harder. <laughs> okay. Um, Dead Man's Hand. So, that's... Fucking, what's, what's that? Gun? That's a bit like Gun, it looks like. There's some game I can't wait to play, actually. Ford Racing 3. Reckless, the Yakuza's mission. Total immense racing. Racing evolution. Okay, now this game I really look like look of Wings of War. Those are definitely like PC ports. Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Ledger Suit Larry. Mega Cum Lad. Uncut. Dreadful. Dreadful. Hulk. Hulk Smash. Let's play Hulk versus Batman versus fucking Robin, I don't know. Even though they're different universes, they'll soon fucking come together. Um, Forza Motorsport. The makers of Hitman, Freedom Fighters, Knockout Kings 2, well 2002, Muhammad Ali's on the front, but he's surely dead, he was, he was like, never box it, <laughs> The Great Escape, Drudge Dread, Dread versus Death, Gun, which I absolutely loved Gun, it was so good. I wish they did another one, but I thought they must have done. Was it Red Dead Redemption? Okay, BYW, don't try this at home. <laughs> about, was that called Backyard Wrestling? I think I remember it being called. Brothers in Arms. I think there's another one somewhere. The Bride's Tale. Or The Bard's Tale. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. We've been playing um, Tom Clancy's The Division. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's brilliant. Um, World Poker Tour. 
World Poker Tour, or something I don't know, World Poker Series, the official game. Call of Duty Big Red One, which is a brilliant game again. Um, Conflict Desert Storm 2. Commandos Strike First. Of course they do. Or Strike Force. <laughs> Crimson Wing. No, Crimson Skies. High Road to Revenge. And Big Game Hunter 2005 Adventures. Of course. I think that's it. And there's like a sealed like Xbox insert manual thing, which I could put in one of my consoles because I think one of them hasn't got on. Um, and also he had a couple of PS1 um, games. And these ones must become part of a four pack. I remember the four pack, but I can't remember the other two games actually. Actual Soccer Club Against June and Independence Day. Yeah, so I have to get them. Yeah, so that was like 20 quid. I had some um, spare retro game magazines. Um, when I when I did my Devcom stand, I, I, um, I must have had a bottom of a box. Thing. Why is this heavy? I had about, must have been about six or seven retro game magazines. And yeah, I basically traded them with good key and just paid a tenner and sort of like them. Well, I think it's about eight or nine, actually. So, yeah, I just don't know where. I must have picked up the extra retro game magazines at um, car boots and stuff like that for one or two quid. So happy to have all this. I needed all these. He had another like six or seven which already had, but yeah. So I would say my third of a collection has just gone up. How many is there? Two, four, six, eight, ten, two. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen, thirty, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. So I got forty-eight games there. <laughs> well happy. <laughs> so my collection, yeah, I think there's about sixty, seventy games. So now I've got over hundred Xbox games. So that's a good addition to the collection. Some really shit ones, like probably stupid money, like three or four quid that you never want to pay, but they're just part of the collection. So I'm not going to go mad and start going off the Xbox, but. Because I've got so many video games at the moment and it's hard to find pickups, there's always seem to be Xbox games I need to, or I always see. And that's about it, I think. <laughs> Cheers, good key. <laughs> I've got no fucking room on the shelf for it, though. <laughs> that's why I was like, oh no, like good key. I've got, I've got no room for it. Got no room for them. Yeah, so we're happy. Um, so it's Thursday now, so hopefully I'm trying to upload it Friday night or um, or Saturday night. Or as soon as possible, really. Um, this weekend's Easter Sunday, and it's sun sunny today. Um, it was raining sort of like yesterday, so I was thinking, oh, it's going to be raining. The forecast looks pretty bad. Easter Sunday down my way is really big for car boots, so it is probably the best car boot day of the year. Um... There's an extra two or three car boots on, so sometimes it's a bit hit and miss, you know. But if you put in the hours and put 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 in the put in the power walk in in Retro Goddess, you might get something. So, yeah. So this Sunday there's about three start there at the same time, but there's an extra one that sort of like starts at that time, and then there's another two later on. So yeah, it's pretty pretty chaos. So normally the other car boots, they sort of lose twenty five percent, and the other the other car boots all like take those cars that would normally or normally travel down, but because the other car boots are on, so I'm looking looking forward to going to new car boots because they're, they're mainly they're mainly in Tesco's, yeah, because Tesco's close on Sunday, so normally in Tesco's car parks. I think all three three or four nearest Tesco's there's like a car boot, so but they all start at like eight o'clock the same time as some of the other car boots, so it's really normal. Which one do I go? Who do I, yeah? Which one do I go to? So Kieran might be coming with me, so. I don't know if I want to take him or not. <laughs> I need an extra person to find the games to beat the other guys, but then he might fucking see some games that I want to buy. <laughs> so I don't know, don't know where to take him or not. I need, I need a little mini me or a couple of mini me send him out. <laughs> Get him to come back with loads of games. But yeah, looking forward to it. So yeah, well, I've charged up the um, the GoPro, so hopefully it'll be a bit of filming. So yeah, it's going to be hours and hours of footage to try and edit down. 
So you're looking forward to it? Um, oh yeah, I literally... <laughs> Um, I do, my iPad is absolutely destroyed. Um, so on, was it Wednesday night? Must have been Wednesday night. I did an update on the iOS, where it was, iOS 9 point something. And when it obviously does, when you like, when it, it does the loading, and then you have to like, basically like sign back in and stuff. For some reason it wants me to put in my Apple iCloud ID to activate the, I, uh, activate the iPad. But I've never actually done that before with the previous updates but for some reason this update it wants me to but when I type in my um, email address and do my password I know it's right because I sign out on my um, phone I can do it but um, it needs the actual email address when it first was activated like about five or six years ago and I purchased this second hand from CEX in like 2012 I think it was <laughs> literally four years ago and so the person who's actually, this person who's iPad, this iPad is actually on someone else's like iCloud account and it won't actually let me unlock it. I phoned up, like ranted to the people on the phone, but they won't actually unlock the iPad for me. So I'm literally crying. So my iPad's absolutely useless now because it's still, I don't know whether CX is supposed to re factory reset it or get the person who owned it before to actually unlink the iPad to their account. But I remember doing um, doing my own iCloud and actually going on there, and I even got the email saying I've activated it with my my own ID. But it, yeah, but it's absolutely destroyed. I can't I can't get in. I can't get in. So it's a, so it says it's been locked. I'd have to like try and get um try and get Apple to unlock it. You know, a bit like the t bit like when uh, the American government are trying to obviously get Apple to unlock like a terrorist phone because it's been locked. That's the same. That's what they've done here. And I'm like, mate, it's me. <laughs> I've even got a proof of purchase um, from CEX. Um, yeah, because I always, I always seem to keep receipts. Every receipt I seem to keep. I normally put it in the original box. But they need the original receipt where it was purchased from uh, this woman. Might be a woman or a guy. Might have purchased it in, what, 2011. So she might have only had it a year. I need the original receipt. She actually purchased it from Apple. So they can actually unlock it. At the moment, their system says I could, I could be like a FIFA site, or I could have stolen it. So I'm like, oh great! <laughs> but I've, I've been using it for four or five years, no problems at all, no problems at all. It's all sync with my iPhone. I would take a photo there, it comes up right here, and for some reason, this update is like dest destroyed it. So I've got a useless iPad now. All my pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well funny, well funny. Oh, I completely, I completely forgot what's actually obviously where I put more boxes. I need my OCD, so I made made sure where all the boxes are. So it's exactly the same on an iPad to my like iPhone. Ab absolutely nightmare. So if anyone's got any ideas, whatever. So if I go to back to CEX with like I don't know four or five year old receipt, they're not going to do anything about it. So I'm like stuck in the middle, going around in circles with CEX and like with Apple. So, but they suggested that I change my um, Apple ID and then sign in on my iPhone with a new password and then try and do it on that one because it might be that, it might be a glitch, that's what they say but I've got a feeling that it's going to be locked until the end of time <laughs> ok yeah, cheers guys, thanks for watching um, I normally watch everything on my iPad I literally hate PCs, the only time I ever use my PC is to upload videos so I'm, I'm so used to my iPad so I'm going to watch like, YouTube videos wherever I'm out and about or just in, in my bedroom um, on my iPad, so the last like three or four days, I've been I've been planning to obviously watch some um, YouTube videos and do some, like, be more more chatty on Twitter on Facebook. But it's like the end of the world, <laughs> literally the end of the world. <laughs> like, there's no electrics, like the end of the world. What will we do? <laughs> be it, you know, sorry, sorry, batteries are fun. I got a cupboard full of batteries, 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 just in case it's the end of the world. So at least play my Game Boys. <laughs> But yeah, cheers guys, thanks for watching, thanks for liking and sharing. Um, Blackpool's in a what, month and a half time, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, Money-wise, I'm okay, yeah. I got, I got out, I sort of like, had a little bit of debt, but normally, it normally happens through obviously the summer, going to all the events. In winter, I have a little bit of debt, like around Christmas, and then I slowly save money and build back up. But I should be more well off, but I keep buying stuff. <laughs> yeah, locally, it's only really, like I said, there's just stuff on eBay. Good kid and had some from his friends, so he's sort of like a different like network. So he's literally asking all his mates, so they got stuff. So hopefully, good kid better pick us up, pick me up some stuff, and all any doubles that he gets as well. We better do some trading. So cheers, guys! Looking forward to Easter Sunday. Hopefully, it is nice and sunny. 
the noise inside, it's going to be busy. So yeah, cheers guys. Woo woo.